Tonight, a Wake County real estate agent sexually assaulted while showing a home. A registered sex offender is in the Wake County Jail tonight, charged with the assault in a New Cary neighborhood. Ed Crump joins us now from the Wake County Jail with more. Ed? Tisha Michael Sleeman, who's 33, isn't likely to get out of jail before he faces a judge tomorrow. He's being held here on a $2 million bond. Michael Sleeman's history with assaults on women goes back to 1998. That's when he was charged with that crime in North Carolina, a charge that was later dropped. In 2002, he was convicted of sexual battery in Virginia, but returned to North Carolina when he was given only probation. In 2003, he was again charged here, this time with soliciting for prostitution. That charge was also dropped. Today at Sleeman's house south of Garner, where neighbors say he lives with his mother, no one answered the door. Across the street, Thomas Gettler says he knew Sleeman was a registered sex offender because someone put out flyers about Sleeman a few years ago. But he was still surprised by the latest charges against his neighbor. Obviously, you'd be disappointed that somebody living close by in the neighborhood um, would would do something like that. Gettler's girlfriend, who lives with him, was especially unnerved when she heard that the real estate agent who was attacked is 41 years old. That kind of makes me think a little bit more. You don't never know. Sleeman specifically targeted the real estate agent, according to police. They say he came to the Westlake subdivision and met the agent at this model home. After showing him one house he said was too large, the agent brought him here. And this is where police say he used a knife and sexually assaulted the woman. It's a scheme that with some variation could have been used at a neighbor's house. Somebody like that might come over and, and act like they need some help with something and to get their foot in the door. And you never know what... Uh, what may happen at that point. Police are crediting the victim for giving the information to quickly put Sleeman behind bars. Neighbor Lori Wicker is grateful too. Hopefully this will stop him for the rest of his life.